everybody has to work. So if I got to grind at something, like I'm grateful that this is the thing that I'm grinding at. I barber here at Fleet Street Barber Company in Trenton, Ontario, and uh, I play music like regionally around the area. I went to a party when I was a kid, and uh, uh, you know, some of my friends had learned some chords and were playing uh, on uh, on an electric guitar, and uh, there were just some like five gallon pails on the ground, like like out in their garage. So I just set them up kind of like a drum kit and <laughs> grabbed some wooden spoons out of the kitchen and just started like wailing away on those five gallon pails. But, you know, like I, you know, drums, if you can play original Nintendo and count to four, you can be a drummer. So uh, I guess my first drum kit was a bunch of buckets and then uh, it led me down the road of buying drums eventually getting a real drum kit. Uh, yeah, the first time I went to college. I took uh, policing and uh, you know it I quickly realized one day running around the track at Loyalist College that I was like you know what like I just think I want to like smoke doobies and play rock and roll and I really was drawn to music so I applied to a school in Toronto called the, the Trevis Institute and it's sort of like a uh, music career school. I think they've also got like a video television component to it, but I took sound engineering. Really enjoyed the course. You know, it was a lot of fun. I learned a lot. Um, and then came back uh, to, to Belleville and uh, started apprenticing at a, at a local recording studio. I loved uh, working with all the bands and uh, being a part of uh, people's creative process was something I really enjoyed and I really got a taste for that. Once I knew that like I was really into it, it was something I wanted to do. I took some of that uh, money that I inherited from my aunt and I actually like bought that studio. And She uh, wrote a lot of music um, for uh, a company called Nelvana and they did like Care Bears, uh, Inspector Gadget, uh, My Pet Monster, Strawberry Shortcake, like a ton of, a lot of like the cartoons that were on in the 80s in Canada. And uh, yeah, she she wrote all all the uh, all the music for all those programs, so it's pretty 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 cool. Uh, she passed away in like uh, 90, 1990, I think, because of all her efforts and all her success. Uh, she left me some money when she passed away, and that's how I was able to sort of uh, start my own musical career. And uh, uh, through her kind of generosity and foresight i was able to like buy a house and uh put a recording studio in it and it really allowed me to focus on music myself consecutively in one year i got laid off from from two different factories one closed and then one i was just a temp at so uh, i was thinking about doing uh like psw work as a career and uh, my wife, who is a nurse, like just sort of laid out for me exactly what a PSW does. In my mind, I, I sort of envisioned it being like hang out with the elderly, take them shopping. But it's definitely like a, a much more like medical based job. So I sort of went back to the drawing board, didn't know what I wanted to do. And then I was uh, getting my hair cut here in town by uh, a local barber named Matt Clark. And I was just thinking to myself, like, ah, oh, this guy's such a rad dude. And seems to be having fun and this is a cool job and basically he sort of inspired me to to look into uh, barbering as a career so I took a, a hairdressing course here in Trenton uh, at a school called uh, Donaldson by design so many times I was like what the fuck am I doing like I, I never held a pair of scissors in my life other than you know cut construction paper and here I am like <laughs> helping people with their style you know like their their personal aesthetic and, and a lot of times I was like you know, I found it challenging you know when I started working here I let my boss Pete know that yeah like I play in a band we work a lot and and so if if I needed to take some time off for a show or or to, to do a little tour or hit the road like he's all about it and 
you know, I, not every career offers that level of flexibility. Barbering feels like, it feels comfortable, it feels like home. So that's why I'm here is that it's not, uh, it's not a challenge. It's not like, it's not a challenge to get out of bed and come here every day. I work with the coolest people. I work in a rad shop, you know. I talk smack all day. I listen to rad tunes, you know. I, I get cool people coming through the door all the time. Everybody has to work. So if I got to grind at something, like I'm grateful that this is the thing that I'm grinding at. The future, I think, is just going to be, you know, keep barbering, keep honing the craft, keep honing. You know, I feel like barbering, I'm constantly uh, improving. I feel like music, I'm constantly improving. I think as long as you work at anything, uh, nothing's become routine for me yet in doing it. So I'm just going to keep striving to be better and better uh, at whatever I'm doing. But it's going to be cutting hair and playing the drums. <laughs>